Hello and welcome my beautiful mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea, my fellow Pisces. You're last but not least, so let's see what your general tarot and oracle card forecast is for June the 3rd to the 9th. And maybe not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. Please check your finance and career reading as well. It's out there for the month of June. Okay, let's see what we have here for you. Starting off, we have confidence. I got excited about the blessing card here. Did you see I grabbed it first? So we're heading out with confidence. We're holding our head up. We're squaring our shoulders off and we have confidence to go after what we want. Don't lose that. Okay, Pisces, sometimes, you know, we get up in our head. We do that stinking thinking. We presume and assume things aren't going to work out before we've even got there. What we think we become, we attract. Don't forget that. Also, the universe is happening isn't happening to us the universe is reacting to us so well we have to be very mindful of the energy that we're throwing out there so go into any situations this week and hold your head up high i think you're going to have a really good week of feeling confident my beautiful pisces starting off we've got the card of blessings and we know that that's an important card uh we're being gifted with things we're feeling very blessed at this time well we're very fortunate for what is coming into us at this time so it's like a divine message all around us. We're being protected and we're safe. And we need to have faith that our path is being guided. And also we need to be mindful of watching for signs that come in. Uh, and those signs can be spiritual signs. This is the card of profound healing energy. And it's flowing to us in many beautiful ways. It's about refreshing and replenishing the energy that's filling our life at this time. So this is such a card of abundance and happiness. Peace all over well-being. And even good health. Spiritual, mental, and physical. The magician comes in. We know that this is a beautiful card. This is about manifesting what we have in our lives and, and being able to create what we want. We are major manifestors. We know that. This is giving us the confidence to, to be feeling that empowerment and being prepared for something. We're suddenly realizing how very prepared we are for, to do something, to go after a goal, create a business, build something, uh, you know, join a group or even uh, create something beautiful that we want to see happen. We've got skill and creativity and determination to go after what we want. And it's like resources are going to magically appear for us. The ability to make changes quickly and successful are also a meaning of this card and we're moving forward at a very positive direction. So we've got every right to feel confident this week. So let's not be afraid of that. Let's move towards those goals, right? We, uh, the, you know, the magician is all about <clears throat> The universe saying, hey, you've got everything at your fingertips. You've got time, effort, and support now to go after and create what it is you want to see happen in your life. Okay, is it relationships? Is it your job, your career, a business, a move? Whatever the case is, you have the resources. Pisces, you're so creative. Don't be afraid to go after what you want. The tulip comes in, and that's great passion. And I often look at this as a gift as well. Um, you know, being passionate and excited and enthusiastic to go forward and do something new is what really propels us and gets our energy level lifted up to that, elevates us to go after what we want. And the world is our oyster. We have that ability to go after what we want. This is about accomplishments. This is about celebrations. This is about completions. Ending one phase and beginning a new one, right? It's clarity and purpose. And, you know, it's all about activating everything on a global level for us. We're moving forward, okay? It's a moment of incredible accomplishment. All our efforts have come full circle, and we are to be congratulated for an amazing job. So we should feel joy, and we should feel, feel pride in our surroundings that we've created here. This is also the card of enlightenment. We might be feeling and tapping into higher self and realizing some of us might be following that path of the law of attraction more. Pisces, you're very tuned into that okay you're very spiritual i'm not saying you're religious i'm saying you're very spiritual and you know that there is a higher higher energy that you can tap into and when you do there's no stopping you pisces you can create almost everything and anything you want and you're going to feel so blessed and that blessing card shows up in in when we get this world card too wow Coming in next, we've got the yang, or rather the yin, yin, not the yang. Sorry, this is the number two, not the one. And the yin means, this is the, fe the feminine principle of, of life, right? Of uh, receptivity, rather. This is about letting someone else make the first move. 
okay? We might be gathering information right now for something. Um, if you're in a relationship or this has to do with a job or you've put out an idea, a proposal, a phone call, a text, a letter, whatever the case is, step back, okay? Trust, trust, trust and have confidence that the universe and the powers that be are going to come your way, okay? This is about you waiting for them, not you running in, okay? You're the, you're, be the shaped, not the shaper and you'll see how quickly things are going to manifest, let others take the lead right now. Your power lies in small gestures, soft awareness, and conscious surrender. And by yielding the reins, you're going to find yourself effortlessly moving closer to what you truly want. Okay? Let others tell you who they are and who, and who they can be to you. By allowing their actions to speak about them, you're going to be pleasantly surprised in a relationship for sure. You know, collaborate and offer your ideas rather than dictate what must happen. Let others come to you. It's important that you feel that they have power now. Another meaning is about releasing your need to have things in the form you want. How do you want to feel? Basking in your own success, right? So the, this is about the feminine part of Yang. Um, this is about just stepping back and you've done the work. Now just let them come to you now. Okay, wait, you've, you've done everything you can do and you're going to be fine because look what shows up with this. The three of water, which is a card of celebration, community, you know, friendships, getting together to celebrate something. Now it could be an occasion like an engagement, a wedding, announcement of a birth of a baby, a graduation reunion, anything can come up. Okay, but you could be celebrating something beautiful about yourself too. So, getting together, having a good time, stepping up to the plate and realizing that, wow, I'm, this is turning out, everything's turning out the way I want. It's like the universe is blessing us right now with abundance and the world is at our feet. We can go after what we want and again, we step up to it with confidence. As Pisces, we're constantly evolving, constantly changing, right? So, keep continuing doing that, Pisces, because you are ever, ever, ever the most creative when you feel passion and you go after it. The journey comes in in the last row. You may move to a new place for work or travel for work. Exploring the world gives you the experience you need to succeed. Well, some of you might be actually relocating. You might be wanting to move to a different part of the world, out of province, out of state, across the, across the countries, to somewhere new <clears throat> to do your work. Maybe your work involves doing things like that. So you'll be immersing yourself in a new culture in the process. This is very exciting. I love it. So some of you may be moving to a different location for work or you may have to travel farther for work. Maybe you've taken on a job that requires you get in your car and you have or you have to fly somewhere, right? For your job to do some some have some purpose and do your job uh, that's what's involved in your work. It's travel. You've got transformation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this is <laughs> This is that darn tower. But this is a car to change. Uh, you know, don't be afraid of it. It always shows people falling out to their death and their doom and this, you know, this sparks and lightning bolts flying out of it. I love this deck because it's a little gentler. Um, but it is definitely the card of change and transformation. And something may have suddenly happened. And now you, you're moving on in a new direction. And you have that life change coming in. And it's actually going to make you feel liberated. Because Pisces... Um, you know, you're forever changing things anyway, but this could have been something out of your control where all of a sudden now you're faced with making another command choice and decision to change things and make things better. So I always say that this is a card to change for the better. You're going to, re you know, you're going to rebuild a new foundation here and it's going to be a bigger, stronger and better one. So there's going to be change coming in. Waha, are we surprised about that? Not really. Um, there's so many blessings coming in this week for us. And it's um, absolutely amazing. So have some fun and celebrate it. Well, my beautiful, beautiful mermaids and mermen, this is our general forecast for June the 3rd to the 9th. And I wish you a great remainder to today again and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, and successful week. And always know I send you lots of love and many blessings. And please, Pisces, check out your finance and career uh, posting. It's out there for the month of June. Take care. I'll see you soon.